Hello everyone, how have y'all been? I know things have been real hectic recently with the death of George Floyd, police brutality, and the protests around the globe protesting the police. I had a video in waiting a few weeks ago about the death of Ahmaud Arbery, but it was really painful to make that video. I couldn't get through writing the script, so I decided to place that video on hold for another time. I would like to say that it is more imperative now for us to think about police abolition, military abolition, prison abolition, and in general, the carceral state. The abolition movement doesn't have everything figured out, for sure, but reform is not working. Reform has been pushed for years and years, and we've taken initiatives to reform, but our people are still dying. We need something else. Years of shit that they messed up. I, that's not my job to fix. Why is it black people's job to fix up white people's shit? I don't know. Hands up! Hands up! We are united! We are united! We are united! I can't even begin to describe. I have included some links in the description box below for us to get involved through donations and petitions. Please do your best to help everyone out. So today I'm going to talk about a show that I came across by chance just to uplift everyone. I had never heard of this show because the show was essentially before my time. I was basically way too young to have seen this show and the show was never re-ran on BET. So I would like to thank the internet for bringing this show to my attention. We get a board on PlayStation, right to Chinese. Anyway, give me a call, let's hang. Hey Moni, it's me. Amen. Listen girl, I wanna do something tonight, okay? So Amen. call me, all right, bye. Hey, uh, Simone, it's Chad! Hey, 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 remember, you said you'd come to my show tonight. God, what was I thinking? I'm excited and nervous, and I'm gonna mess it up. No, I mean, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Oh. I'm debuting some of the new stuff. Uh, this is a song I wrote when I was trying to, to buy a present for somebody. Hey Moni is an American animated black sitcom produced by Soup to Nuts, which is an animation studio that is known for its animated comedy series and its use of squiggle vision. If you've seen shows like Home Movies or Dr. Katz, Professional Therapist, then you know what I'm talking about. Squiggle vision is a technique of animation that reuses frames to make the animation look more kinetic and usually these shows utilize improvisation and voice acting. It outlines shapes which wiggle and undulate to emulate the effect of sketchily hand-drawn animation. Hey Moni was produced in conjunction with Oxygen Media and Soup to Nuts Productions and it was the first time that an African-American woman was featured as the protagonist of an adult-themed animation series. Following a wave of early 2000s animated TV shows like South Park, The Critic, Daria, Ren and Stimpy, and Family Guy, the network wanted to show an entertaining, witty, and satirical animated show that also offered a fresh perspective on modern black life, presenting a realistic, fresh, and uniquely funny portrayal of life as seen from the perspective of a single African-American professional woman. According to Brendan Small, a voice actor on Hey Moni and one of the creators of Home Movies, the network wanted to grab a young adult demographic and learn that through Squiggle Vision, they could also make the animation cheaper. And cheap it was. I actually really love the style of Squiggle Vision. Some people might not like this style of animation because of the shaky vibrating lines, but I actually do not mind it at all. The show was launched in 2001 on Oxygen and the two main characters were played by Angela Shelton and Francis Callier, also known as comedy duo Frangela, who are best friends in real life and are also renowned for their improv comedy style. It's obvious that both of these women were integral to the show as essentially the show works really well because of the dialogue and the direction of the two voice actors. It's supposed to feel really hot. Yes, that lets you know that it's working. Like really hot though. A burning sensation? Yeah, yeah really, that's good. That's 
good? Wait, wait, wait. It's burning right there. Listen. You know what? I really need to hit you. But I need to concentrate. Oh, I'm out. You're taking wait. away from my focus here. I just, I really think we should rinse oh, it out, you know man. What? You are making this a situation. My head is on fire, you man. All right, man. Ow! It's at the time, only 50% of Americans had oxygen in their homes, and it's hard to know how popular the first few episodes were, but the show was picked up by BET in 2003. It was the first animated series from BET, according to the network, succeeding the virtual reality TV show, Cedar's World, which is technically animated, I guess. The episodes were extended to 11 minutes and became more scripted, but it still kept the same energy from the earlier episodes. The show follows Simone, aka Moni, and her vivacious professional life with her best friend and neighbor Yvette, who is hilarious and ridiculous at the same time. There are also a host of other characters like Moni's boss, her co-worker, and her weird neighbor, like Dr. Katz, professional therapist, the show relies on an improvisational script, which pushed the authentic dynamic to the forefront on the show. <laughs> okay. This one matters, you know what I'm saying? We'll put it in the this one matters pile. Okay. Hi, Yvette. Hey, girl. Don't I look fun? Oh, you look good. Simone looks busy. I, well, I am, I know. <laughs> this is probably not a good time. What you mean? We got a big account today, Yvette. We got a very big account today. Oh, well, congratulations, but she gotta go out. It's girls' night. Actually, I have to work. Oh, Simone, I was... I'm sorry, get back. Just give me a minute. Okay, okay but I'm hungry. I'll just be in the copy room, Bill, and I'll, I'll bring those in as soon as they're ready. Okay, not too much toner. She can copy. <laughs> Girl, I can't believe you do this to me. Oh, please don't. I don't guilt you, me, you bet. But no, please. This is our time. I, I know. I just, I have to work tonight. But this is the second time this week. I just want to do a good job. You understand that? Listen, you know, that's all you do is you just been overachieving, workaholic. It had three seasons with the first season having seven episodes, the second season having 10 episodes, and the third season having eight episodes. These episodes usually focus on the mundane issues of life, like moving apartments, throwing house parties, competition at work, becoming sick and missing work. There were some more episodes that were a bit more outlandish, like when Simone and Yvette auditioned to be on the Oprah show, Ooh, I'm just gonna take it. Okay. Uh, I'm, you know, Oprah's gonna watch this. Run on, run on. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Hi, Oprah. Hey, Oprah. <laughs> I'm Simone. And I'm you. Cut. What was that? Oh, that's right. This is not sexy. I want a date tape. Right. You're right. not trying to date. Okay, you ready? Yeah, right. Okay. <clears throat> Hello, Oprah. Hey, Oprah. I'm Simone, and this is my best friend, Yvette. I always know that if I need to go out someplace and mm -hmm. relax, that this is the girl to go with. You yeah. That's the girl to go with. I'm going to bring the pain, all right? Yeah. I'm going to bring the groove. <laughs> I'm going to, you know, I'm going to set it up right because we're going to have a good time. We always have a good time. That's the thing about your vet. You know, it doesn't matter what we do and we have a good time. That's right, Oprah. You know? And my girl, Simone, I don't care what kind of situation it is, she can talk the police out of it. Oh, baby, that's because I love you, girl. I don't want to let nobody girl. take you away. You my boo. You my boo. We are like sticky and smooth. That's right, I'm smooth. I'm sticky. That's how we're known in the karaoke circuit. Yeah. And, you know, a best friend will be honest with you. That's you right. Know? They will say to you, girl, don't wear that. Your butt look big in them pants. <laughs> that's right. A best friend will, when you call and say, girl, I had to kill him. She'll say, I got a shovel. That's right. She won't ask you why, you know. Mm -mm. she would be there. She'll just be there. We are real, Oprah. We are real We are women. for real. We're coming for real. We bring in the real. Queens to each other. I worship you, Yvette. I worship you, my Nubian Nile sister. You are my best friend. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yvette. Whoa, whoa. Simone. We belong on Oprah. Okay, that wait, was good, off. Yeah, I got it off. <laughs> that was good. great. Wait a minute, the red light came on. Oh, girl, the camera wasn't on. Yeah, I'll do it again. <laughs> but those episodes always felt grounded because of the improvised banter. When it comes to the coloring of the animation, we see that as the show progressed, the characters became brighter looking and the background became more detailed. 
I would also just like to add that unlike many animated shows, Simone and Yvette do change outfits from episode to episode. The 10 minute short form of the episodes really worked in the show's favor, as while the storylines and episode plots might not have been super complex, the banter between Moni and Yvette around mundane situations in their lives made the show really enjoyable and sweet. My favorite episodes have to be Bad Hair Day and the pilot episode Moving because I think those episodes really showcase the comedy of the show while illustrating how important the friendship between Moni and Yvette was in the show. While the show was temporarily successful on BET, becoming its most watched new Tuesday series at the time, when the show was extended to a 22 minute run, BET decided not to bring it back for the 2004-2005 season. In my opinion, a 22-minute run would have dragged the show and would have only been useful or good if the plotlines became a bit more complex in the next season. There is some dispute as to exactly why the show was cancelled, as Angela Shelton and Francis Callier say that the show was cancelled because they brought in a white writer without consulting them to write the last few episodes. They go further and claim that the last few episodes were blander than usual. But y'all can be the judge of that, I'm not really sure about that. Good morning, Simone. How are you doing this morning, Robin? Hey, look at you. Yeah. It looks good. Really? You sure there aren't too many barrettes? No, they look great. I got about five pounds worth of gear in my head, though. I have to get up a lot earlier now. <laughs> That's all. Yeah. Could you be honest with me for a minute, Robin? Of course. Do you smell anything chemically? Um, not, no. It's sort of perfumey. You know, I don't think either of us really realized how strong those chemicals are. Yeah. It's a discontinued product, blah, blah, blah. We learned that last... Then, boy, yeah. <laughs> we'll be doing that again, huh? You have a really good attitude about it. Well, you know, Robin, this is the thing. This is the situation, right? Um, I woke up with hair that's different, and I can either spend all day in bed eating and crying, or I can get up and focus on the inner me. That's right. And I am going to, to work hard. Good for you. All right, you know what? First thing we're going to do is that's enough. That is enough hair talk. We are done with that. Done. Let's get to business. The show never had a DVD release, unlike home movies, which through its DVD release, it was able to gain traction and a cult following. So I think this is probably why not many people know about this show or even remember the show. But I think the show was really cool and ahead of its time, as it is not often that we see an animated show revolving around the lives of professional black women. If you need something to take your mind off what's going on right now for a little bit, then check this show out. You can find many episodes on YouTube, but they're actually not in chronological order, so um, be careful with that. I also think they don't have all of the episodes on YouTube yet. You can also check the episodes out on Hulu or Daily Motion if you would like to watch. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to comment and subscribe to my channel. What have y'all been watching to keep your sanity during these times? Let me know in the comments below because for me, ciao, on top of Hey Moni, I've watched Netflix Blood and Water, which I really did enjoy. And I've also finally watched Little Fires Everywhere, but that show raised my blood pressure for sure. Please do your very best to help our brothers and sisters out by donating, signing petitions if you are unable to donate, or by contacting a local organization to supply your services to help in this fight, because none of us are free until we're all free. Okay, bye!